let's go dip some things with Virginie. Okay, so we're dipping. We've talked dipping. about dipping before on the show, and in the magazine you have dipping all sorts this of items. This is so, so look at this. You've got, it's a laundry basket, let's say? It's just a cheap Chinatown basket. Sure, it's a laundry basket. Sure, let's, blankets, let's call toys, it that. Whatever you want. Dip the bottom of it. So you take this everyday items and yeah. you dip them and it gives them new life. So it here you've got the, magazine yeah, covers. Yeah, like a trendy kind of two-tone look and we yeah. kind of got a little dip crazy. And uh, we dipped paper, we dipped glass, this we dipped nice. fabric. So I've got some, kind of some demo, it depends. You're a hands-on kind of girl, right? You like to get messy Yeah, a bit, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I love go. that I got stuff. I'm protect your okay. nice shirt. <laughs> While you're putting that on, I think this might be the most impressive one. So this actually kind of looks like the top that Jane's wearing, and that's not intentional. I'm not trying to That's incredible. Up to my you've got an ombre But we've got this great ombre, and so we've done an entire set over here. This is the um, flatchy. And we've got the pillowcase drying over here on the rack. You dipped that? Oh, you dipped so it in we dye. We dipped these in dye. We did that as a two tone. And Very if you nice. want to get messy, we can certainly play around with that. Are we going to be using this at all, or can I? Okay, off she goes. Okay, so to get the ombre look, you're going to be yeah. working for, with two different colors. So we've got a light blue and a dark blue, and that's just dye that you buy like at Michael's or at a craft store. Okay. And we learned a few tricks, because let me tell you, this wasn't the first go at it. There were five years. <laughs> we had to do it a few times. Well, we had to do it a few times. So yeah. the first thing you want to know is you need to use cotton, right? It's not going to work with polyester or okay. something like that. It's something almost like the tie-dye thing going on. Isn't so yeah, to get this camp? kind of cool, jaggedy edge there, yeah. this was the trick that we kind of had to go back to the camp days, right? And yeah. so we tied that off like this. Okay. And then while I put my gloves on, if you want, go ahead and just dip that in the first one. So, so that's all the way up to one. here? All the way up, yeah. Okay. And honestly, I'm not a precise kind of girl. Like, I just want to get it done. So that makes me happy, actually. Yep, there Very you go. Happy. That's good. Leave it in a few minutes. Because this is not going to be precise, okay? No. <laughs> That's okay. You know, we don't the, have time for precision in our lives. The other time we did it on the show, um, we had uh, cutlery that yeah, was dipped right. at the bottom. So what I love about it is that if you have all these things that are mismatched, you dip them all, and all of a sudden there's some uniformity I to know, them, like, right? I know, like, same with the magazine covers, right? Yeah. They, they kind of get beat up, and so you could give them a new life by dipping them. You can also decide, like, your decor magazines are going to be dark blue, your... Other decor magazines are going to be medium. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so what else do we read, really? Okay, so that one's done. In real life, we would probably leave it, rinse this out. But okay, whatever. I have a theory actually that we don't need to rinse it out. So we're going to actually test it out right now. Let's go with your theory. Yeah. <laughs> Let's roll with it and see what happens. And now we're going over to the dark. Okay, uh, and you put just the bottom. So just she's just the putting the tip yeah. of it in the dark. So you're going to have those stages. That's probably enough. And if you hold on to that, I'll take the elastics off. This is like the big reveal right now. And now, how long do you usually let it dry for? Do you, you have to it rinse overnight? it out for a long time, like okay. rinse it until it runs clear. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, you know, you could probably just pop it in the dryer. And then the first few times, I tell you to hand wash it just so that the color really stays. Right. It's a good thing I'm wearing blue because there's a bit of splatter. I don't know if you noticed. Yeah, great, perfect. I'm not wearing blue. <laughs> we're giving away from you. Oh, we're going to use paint, you know. We're going to get crazy. <laughs> what I love about this, though, so many people are at home with their kids this summer, and the kids, you know, after five minutes, I'm bored. Yeah, totally. This Isn't is this like a, a good, good project that you can so do, is, and yeah, it's fun. And, you get that kind and of look at how good that turned out. I'm pretty much a genius. Are you <laughs> okay, I didn't do okay, the whole so thing. Okay, so give her a big hand. Very nice. I love your very complicated um, hanging process here as well. I was just well. going to go there. So, so the, you've got IKEA hangers going on. That's and it, then the clip hangers. You've even hung these. Your, right, so your glasses. Dipping is one thing. Yes. But figuring out how to dry it, like we were sitting there in the office going, what are we there's got to be a better way to do this, right? <laughs> so as it turns out, if you put some paper towel, you can hang pretty much anything. So these glasses that we dipped in oh, paint. Oh, smart. Yeah, so yeah, you can hang those like that. Just put a drop cloth underneath, even a basket. So anything, you know, I actually hung these yesterday on my kitchen cabinets because I didn't have a clothes smart. rack. Smart, very so good. So that's an easy way to dip that. Try it at home, folks. Tell me how it turns out. And don't wear anything too cute, all right? Let's go to <laughs> break. More coming up on Chatelaine Day. Stay with us.